All right. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to my channel. I am Queen Sheba. I am new here on YouTube. But first things first, just want to give you a little bit of background about the topics that I'll be covering. I will be covering hot topics, but most importantly, those hot topics and trending topics that are specific to black women. Um, the majority of my commentary will be focused on the behavioral and psychological impact of black women. These are my personal thoughts based on my personal experiences and observations of others. So with that being said, I am going to go ahead and jump right in. But before I do, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button and help me out um, as I begin to build my audience in this crazy world of YouTube. Um, so let me get started here. Um, in my opinion, many black women have a mentality of long suffering. What do I mean by that? Some of you are probably like, what? What do you what do you mean by long suffering? That's when you have or have the capacity to show patience, an extended level of patience, in spite of the troubles that people have brought to you, um, especially those caused by other people, right? Where they've placed you in situations where you felt extremely uncomfortable, discomfort. Help, uh, hurt, pain, betrayal, abuse, um, neglected, abandonment, emotional exploitation, you name it. And I feel like black women have this pervading, this subconscious pervading desire um, to extend themselves to suffer, especially um, on the behalf of black men. So in today's highlight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Sheree Whitfield as a prime example. Sheree is a beautiful woman, strikingly beautiful woman, um, beautiful black woman at that. She's 52 years old. She's best known for Real Housewives of Atlanta. She keeps herself in impeccable shape, right? Um, she, is except, she is the exception, honey, and not the rule. She owns She by Sheree. She lives in a mansion. She's a mother to two beautiful children. Let me pause there. So every accolade that I've given her is what she can stand on, on her own as a woman, outside of being attached to any man. However, Sheree has a history of selecting bad partners. And I'm going to work my way in ascending order. And I'll start with the most recent guy. Let's start with Tyrone. Sheree was in um, a relationship for the course of, probably what, five years with Tyrone. He served seven years in federal prison for allegedly, quote unquote, scamming $5 million from investors. Okay, I'll move on quickly from him. Let's talk about Dr. Love. He was the he was the guy that appeared on the show and lied, lied about being a licensed therapist, as if we couldn't check right? He had folks believing that he had a PhD when he didn't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out. I'll stop there because at the end of the day, Sheree still chose him. Nene tried to warn her, um, but she didn't listen. She proceeded uh, fast and furious. Bob Whitfield, that was her ex-husband, father of her children, I, I believe with the exception of her oldest, which may be Tierra. He left her high and dry. He spit in her face. He neglected his duties as a husband. Now, keep in mind, this was an ex. This was he was an NFL player, ex NFL player. So he had the financial means to uh, to step up and do what he was supposed to do um, regarding his children, regarding being a provider and a father. Yet he didn't. They had to go to court. And I don't know if y'all remember he was running around like a big ass kid in the courtroom, right? He was allegedly physically abusive with her. And I don't know, I don't know if you remember the episode where they were in Hawaii, they were on the van and Sheree got very emotional and she teared up recanting and talking about the hurts and the pains that he caused her physically. And his response was to laugh. And at that point, Kenya Moore jumped in to say, hey, listen, she's hurting. How do you find it funny that this woman, the mother of your children, your ex-wife, this beautiful black woman, how do you find it funny in this moment to laugh about the pain that you've caused her, right? He took everything when they divorced. He took the furniture. He left her with nothing. He had those kids sleeping on an air mattress in that apartment. 
He refused to pay child support. And I'm going to pause there. I want y'all to take all that in. Stop and take that in. And here she is today, rumored, allegedly, to be dating Martel Hope. Martel Hope. Let's talk about him just briefly, right? Because this isn't about him. This is about her. Martel doesn't pay child support. He refused to allow his ex-wife, allegedly Melody Holt, to take furniture from their married home. He took $17,000 from Melody. As a result of his self-centered ways and narcissistic ways, he had his children sleeping on a near mattress until Melody was able to grind her way out of that deficit, right? So I am sitting here and, 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 you know, she raised a trending topic and people are like, yes, they look good together. No, in spite of that, what's going through my head is what in the hell are you thinking, Sheree? In my opinion, y'all, this will not work. Feel free to jump in those comments, share what's on your mind. We don't have to agree. This is a safe place to discuss in the most respectful manner, but this will not work. Um, I believe Sheree has some deep soul work to do so that she can heal and heal well. The fact that she's even considering Martel Holt is a huge red flag. That's a red flag to me regarding her lack of progress and evolution as a woman. Because you see, when women begin to heal and women, when women begin to do that deep work, We now know what we didn't know then. And they say, when you know better, you do better. And the fact that you are choosing somewhat of the same man that you've chosen in the past, to me, that's a red flag. Um, And I know a couple of YouTubers, you know, you guys have your wonderful pages, great perspectives. I believe some of you are saying, yeah, no, no, no. Sheree's not going to put up with anything Martell gives her. I beg to differ. I say Sheree will stay until she's forced to leave. If you consider her history with the men that I talked about earlier, there's some history there. Sheree has a propensity to expose herself to long suffering. So no, she's not going to leave until she's forced to leave. Keep in mind, Martell is a narcissist. He's going to make her feel good. He's going to do and say all of the right things initially. They looked good together. But you have to, narcissist, you have to realize what she's dealing with. So um, until she's forced to leave, she will be there. It's going to take something very disrespectful for her to stay. And even then, she may kind of drag her feet, right? Think about how long she stayed with Tyrone, how long she remained with Bob. Hell, she couldn't even see Tyrone. He was in federal prison. And it wasn't until Tyrone embarrassed her on national television that she drew the line in the sand. So if you consider her history with the men uh, that I talked about, she's demonstrating uh, this appetite for long suffering in exchange for pleasure. And I get it. Trust me, I get it. And I know y'all want her to win and you want to see her win and she deserves to have a good looking man and, you know, for him to kind of whine her and dine her and make her feel good. But baby, this ain't it. I don't know. I'll stop there. Talk to me in the comments. What are your thoughts? YouTube, uh, what are you thinking? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Kind of tell me where you are with that. And before you do, don't forget to click that like button. All right. I will talk with y'all soon.